Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Y'all, first of all, thank you for all my subscribers for coming back. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for just commenting and getting involved. This story I'm sharing with y'all. Y'all, this is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. I want you to listen to this sister's story. Listen and listen keenly. And then I'm coming right back. Something on my mind. And I said, I have to find out how many persons have had this experience. How many persons have had the, have been invited by f close, close family member or close, close friends to go to the USA to be with them, to, you know, just hang, hang with them or whatever, whatever. And have had these people turn around on them and, and, and treat them bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 I to leave bad memories. It's scary for life. Me. Send me. Anybody who have ever have the experience, send me. Put up an answer. Me. No. I've had the experience where out of the blue, a family member had called me once and say, You know, send me a file for you. No, something that we've not discussed. I didn't know, really know that. We never go so close. So I never really expect that. Just a share a file for me. And so. She said, do you have any money, though? Uh, I'm like, well, me have one partner draw I get, but me never really um, plan feet. And she said, all right, me are gonna, you're going to need it. So I have to book a ticket, and I went up there, um, paid all the fees, whatever, whatever that needed, sent off paperwork and thing out of my own money. All right. I look on it, and I said, all right. Even though it's something is unexpected, something I never expect it. At least it's an opportunity, and so that's what, how I was looking at. First trip there, fine. Food galore, and of course, you know, so I get to put a people house and ask bread, bed, and cook food and all them things. At least pay for my stay, you understand? And, and, and uh, even though I was invited, first trip, fine. Second trip, fine. Third trip, I was, ad I was asked maybe there was a third. This the third trip, I was asked to take up my family member's child, which I did. But in the, in that in on that trip, there was another person that was involved, and that is my family member got a partner that they had left, separated with, but came back. Partner said, "Me not like her. Me not like her. No, it wasn't partner. Also, you know, it was my family member's house. Family member said to said, "Me not make true you. Me lose my." Man, people hungry would have killed me. Fridge were used to full clean right out. I, every day she get up and she say, When you going home? Tomorrow morning we wake up. When you going home? When you going home? I mean, like for months because them times they made look one like a work, you know. Um, I remember after being asked every day, several times for the day. When are you leaving? When are you going home? And everybody, if you even if you know me, my can't anger stress. My can't manage stress. At least past certain level. And I cannot be around uncomfortable situation. I'm a loving person. I love people. I love me, 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 I just like to be in at in peaceful situations and circumstances. I know it's a stressful situation I'll come by, but I can the around people where I argue, argue and cuss cuss and people when I warm in at them space. I so, say people I stress out, I stress out, I stress out, I mark along till I turn tread. Come here look for save because I get one little under the table hustling. I mean, I look and there was nothing. And then when you're looking at the fridge, the fridge empty. My girl, I mean, this was deliberate now because this is a way now for help for move me out. I never have no money. All of my money done. Because me did it. I may try to me the one shop and bring down some little things to my picnic. Day. A friend of mine that I have been with for years. I could be someone, you know, but I tell you, say, a good youth. Good you, we have a good connection. Good, 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 good connection. Spiritual connection. I mean, I mean like a good man. You understand? We did for about for, for, for some years. And we separate we had separated because I was coming here and he was going to restart a relationship that he had had with his wife. So I said, alright, me go on America. 
Yeah. One day out of me, like I found my mother down and stress out to nothing, you know, and I have to sit down in the, in the house every day, depend. And sometimes when she come home from work, she and her man, them just pack up and go and go eat all McDonald's and go eat. And me did them a hungry and them come in and just go in at them room and lock up. Hungry and kill me. I said, remember me tell you, one day, my friend named Alric, Alric just, call, just out of the blue, call and say, Max, what's wrong with you? Something wrong with you, I feel it. My mind dip on you and dip on you. And, she say, and I said to him, why? When you just out of the blue call upon a day because that was a day where I don't know what things that go through my mind, what for contemplation. And him said, something is wrong and you need to just fess up and tell me what's wrong. And when I said, to, what is wrong? He said, you need to come home. The man buy a ticket. Glory to God. I tell you, who could it be? A Jesus intervene right there. So, and tell him, see, see your help here. So, Alric said, I'm going to be sending you a ticket for you to come home. So, you know, of course, when Miss Lady come home from work the, morning, the evening, she come straight to the door and she said, when are you leaving? <laughs> I said, um, my friend Alric, I spoke with him today and he is going to be sending me a ticket. So as soon as he says I can leave, I'll be leaving. Um, it took him uh, probably about two or three days to put it together. And then in that time, in the call yet, every day, morning before I should wake up before she go to work, in the call yet, I write no call yet. When you're leaving, you not get the ticket yet. You not get no information yet. I say, yo, that's one of the most I've never in my life felt like that before i was so happy when the ticket came and i could have get i think i don't remember who took me to the airport you know i i have I just tell myself say i don't want nobody else to invite me going away no invite me going to america i may beg god do if you sit in a life my reach and live away I've advanced, I achieve certain kind of things. Financially, I'm comfortable. Please keep me grounded. Now make me get to a certain place and start treat people like shit pan shoes or bubble gum pan shoes bottom. Please keep me grounded, keep me humble, keep me loving. Yo, I, it, was, it took me years to forgive her years and this is something i had to fight to forgive her fight fight to forgive her meaning that me, we live in the same town and when me see her it come like me feet i had chest pain she start giving me chest pain or even thinking about her i started to get chest pains blows and skirt one day you know one new year new year's eve when i think how oh, stressed i'd been just think just just thinking about her and what i've been through let me just pick up the phone about minutes to 12 when i know it was going to be new year and i say hey how you doing how you doing now my spirit may i fight for forgive her how you doing and she says i'm okay i'm okay but I had to make the first move. Did you guys hear that? Did y'all hear that? Yo, let me tell you something. Some family member wicked. Imagine. She was minding her own business. She wasn't begging nobody nothing. And this family member turns around and tells her, I'm filing for you. And then turn on every day I ask her when y'all leave. When y'all come out. Remind you, she was the one that convinced her to stay. Let me tell her something. Not every help is a help. Or should I say, not every help is a help up. Instead, it is a help down. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Not every help is a help up. Some help is a help down. Imagine.
imagine. Now, I remember y'all. Back in the day, I used to be on the radio station on Wednesday nights as Lady Maxine, a sex therapist, but I'm not really a sex therapist, okay? And I remember we, us getting phone calls, all these immigration issues, all these problems. By the way, I want to make sure that the person that uploaded these videos, these immigration videos, is actually at Jamaica underscore thing. So I want to make sure they get their credit for this video. Because when I was on the radio, people would call in with all different types of stories. Men getting abused by women because they don't have their right status. People cutting up people's immigration card when they arrive in the mail because they're lying or they're cheating or... Y'all, if, if, if you're not the type of person that want to help somebody for real, real, yeah. don't do it. And then all of a sudden... You turn around, you want to treat them some type of way because you're in love now or <laughs> things change for you or you feel like now they become a burden. Don't do it. If you're the one that filed for that person and bring them from Jamaica, Africa or wherever. If you feel like they becoming a burden, get them a living job or get them a job where they don't ever have to come home so they can build themselves up. But y'all. Thank y'all for coming back. Take her story <laughs> and make sure that's not your story. If you don't have the way out, and you know the, you know the worst thing is? In this life, there's ups and downs. You never know what will happen. Don't think because you're up here today that you're going to be up there all the time. It's not. Put yourself in a position that if you ever need help, there's people lined up ready to help you. But if you're the type of person that you feel like, okay, no. You're all the time telling us if I stay on the yard. But no one listen to me. Mm -mm. I don't want to listen to me. Anyways, y'all. Thank y'all for coming back. Thank y'all for listening. I'm going to keep hunting down stories so y'all can see them. Thank y'all. Please comment. Let me know what y'all think about this story. Because ciao. Mm. I'm telling you. Have a wonderful, awesome day, y'all. Thank you guys for coming back.